Hey guys, it's Freddy Tech back with another video from CFL Tech. We have the desk.net pulled up here and we'll link this media news story down below if you want to check it out. Now we have more news here on the DirecTV Dish acquisition. It's saying here Dish creditors reject bond exchange raising questions about DirecTV acquisition. So this is not good with the creditors here. They are not too happy at the current time. So we see here the rejection came in the form of a letter recently sent to executives at Echostar. Details which were reported by financial news outlet Bloomberg on Monday. The group of creditors began objecting to the offer earlier this month saying the company's loss adjustment for the bonds was not workable. So they want more done here for this to happen. And you can understand with $9.75 billion in debt, this is a concern for the creditors. You know, you can't just come on in and push this under the rug and say all is good. <laughs> they definitely want things to be compromised at a good compromise level here to make this happen. DirecTV has been at this for many, many years trying to acquire DISH and it has been rejected in the past due to concerns about competition and with so many subscribers, you know, they would corner the market and lead and not have any competition at all. But now things have changed with 20 million subscribers. Now that's what would it would it would be at 20 million if this actually happened. So that's not a big a threat as big of a threat today as it was 20 years ago with the competition now with streaming and free ad supported content. A lot less worry now for this type of acquisition to happen. The biggest hurdle right now looks to be with the creditors and this mountain of debt. So here, under the deal announced in September, DirecTV was set to buy Equistar's video business comprised of Dish Video, Dish Network, and Sling TV, and various advertising units for $1 in cash while assuming Dish is $9.75 billion in debt. So for that to happen, Dish's creditors had to agree to swap their $9.75 billion in debt for new bonds that would have extended out the maturity date with a minimum loss of 1.5 billion or 70 million lower than previously accepted. Dish's existing creditors believe that it isn't feasible and are holding out hope that Dish and DirecTV will agree to cut any minimum loss by as much as 300 million. So there's a lot of work to be done here. We'll see if this actually happens. Now, again, this is probably the biggest hurdle. Getting approval from the government probably won't be as much of a concern going into next year and subscribers will continue to go down even once this happens at 20 million it might even be 18 or 19 million by summer of next year so at this point right now the biggest concern would be with the creditors and getting this iron now for this to happen but right now this is not looking too good we don't know how it will affect the actual acquisition it's too soon to tell will this be will there be a lawsuit going into next year that's a possibility as well. So we'll see what happens with this. Put your comments down below on what you think of this. Do you think this will actually happen after all of these years of talk of DirecTV buying Dish and them becoming one company? Back in September, a couple months ago, it looked like this was for sure going to happen and it still may happen. This is probably the most serious it's been as far as getting it done, but they have a lot of work to be done here it looks like and some legal stuff to go through. So we'll see what happens, but put your comments down below. Also, if it's your first time here on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell, so you know when the next video drops in CFL Tech. We'll be back soon with more videos like this, streaming app reviews, streaming device reviews. That's what we do here on the channel. So again, hit the subscribe button. Freddy Tech will be checking out this one. Soon to be back with another. Take care.